are listening to the Rants and Rambles show with your host, Seth Goldstein. Sponsorship provided by A. Weber at aweber.com slash phillytech. Get Flywheel, optimized WordPress hosting at getflywheel.com. Wistia.com at wistia.com. And Zoho Mail. Hey everyone, it's Seth from phillytech.org. I um, wanted to talk to you briefly about what the hell is going on in this world right now. Um, this is definitely a ramble, possibly a rant. Um, with the recent attack in France at Charlie Hebo, I think it's Hebo, um, it, by terrorists of, you know, I guess, Islamist terrorists, um, the idea of freedom of the speech, freedom of journalism has really become to the forefront of the consciousness of people. Um, being a journalist myself, I'm very, you know, passionate about, you know, at least in the United States, the First Amendment, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, uh, freedom to assemble and to report the news. Um, and France is also very a place where it's very, where... Freedom of the press, freedom of speech is a very um, important thing. Um, so my, my, my condolences go to all those people that were affected by this horrible, horrific event out in um, Paris. But um, I, I'm kind of speechless, but which is kind of weird for me because I anyone who knows me knows I'm not speechless. And if anything, I can chat up a storm. But I've been trying to wrap my head around all this craziness in the world and all this this it's, it's resurgence almost of Islamist terrorism and terrorism in general. Um, it seems like, and this is not an original thought, this thought came from, I think, the news or a podcast, that these Islamists, not, not all Islam, but these Islamists, these jihadists, are where Christianity was back in the 1400s, during the Crusades, back earlier in the 1400s. Um, they're trying to create an Islamist state where the separation between, at least in this case, mosque and state, church and state, it doesn't exist. And, and where the, the governing body is religious. And you have to live by religious rules and whatnot. And now there's nothing wrong with having a country that's based on those rules, per se, but it's when it's forced upon other people and your belief system's forced upon people. I, 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 nothing, nothing annoys me more, especially, I mean, just let alone when this peaceful proselytization, I, it, it annoys me. Like, respect my beliefs. I respect your beliefs. You want to do X, Y, and Z, that's fine. I do an do ABC that's fine for me. Respect my beliefs. When you bring terror and violence into the mix, it's completely unnecessary. I mean, I'm, I'm, pre I'm preaching to people that are so feverent about their beliefs that they'll kill for their beliefs. And they're so extreme in their beliefs that it's just, it's hard to fathom for someone who's moderate like myself. Now I can go on a political rant right now in the United States how the you know the right wing conservatives are in my opinion terrorists or are scary and whatever. I'm not going to go there because I don't think they are terrorists. I think that you know there is some jihadism over there where they where they feel like there's a whole like they're they are the right way to go and all that. But to compare them with these barbarians is not fair. But I do feel that there is a domestic element to this, both Christian, Jewish, Muslim, Buddhist, whatever you want, to, you know, all different kinds. Where everyone in the religion has people that are so feverent about their religion that they want to push it on other people. That they feel like their way of thinking is the only way, only way to really think, and that they don't respect other people's viewpoints. And it's not a matter of nothing wrong with having a nice, healthy debate saying, well, this is what I believe. I don't get why you believe that. Why do you believe that? You know? And then say, all right, well, I don't agree with that, but I respect your beliefs. But, I mean, I'm really speechless. I don't get 
how people can get so far down a rabbit hole where they're going to kill people and they're going to kill journalists and police officers because they don't agree or they're protecting people that don't agree in the case of the police officers with their belief system. It's just, it's, it's unfathomable and hard to understand. And I mean, I love to hear what you guys have to, have to say. Post your comments below or anywhere, you know, post your comments, email me, Seth at phillytech.org, um, at me, you know, tweet, tweet me at Seth, at Seth Goldstein on Twitter or at phillytech underscore org. Let me know what you think. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I feel bad that I kind of just related the right wing conservatives to the terrorists because they're not. But I do fear that as much as we're saying, oh, th that's bad, that's bad, that's bad across the pond, we're ignoring the fact that there are extremists in our very own government and on the, on, and on the left. There's plenty on the left that are like, completely on the other side that are crazies and nut, nut jobs. And, you know, it's just... I guess there's an element of society that, that just believes so fervent that their belief system is the way to go, that and then there's no other way of, of thinking, and we're and then they come to power and that gets really scary at times, and, and we see this in Iraq and Syria with the Islamic State, where sorry the trash trucks picking up garbage behind me, um, but I don't know it, it, it's just really scary. I want to hear what you guys what you guys have to say. Post your comments below. Email me, tweet me, find me online. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Have a great week, everybody. Keep your head above water. Stay warm if you're in the, in the north, you know, or if you're in the cold areas. Stay stay cool if you're in the warm areas. And this has been another Ransom Ramble show. And I will talk to you later. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.